Go! Greetings, unsettled souls, and in the words of Hank Hill, what the hell? This is messed up. Yeah, make sure you can see the screen there. News Wars. Shock video. Suspect throws toddler to the ground in an unprovoked attack. Two-year-old injured after being shoved to the pavement by a strange woman. Uh, this is by Dan Lyman. A two-year-old girl was seriously injured after being shoved to the pavement by a stranger in an unprovoked attack in the ever-loving, peaceful, democratic city of New York, New York, according to reports. The incident unfolded at approximately 8.45 a.m. on Tuesday morning on a street in the Bronx. The Bronx. Surveillance footage released uh, by the NYPD shows a black female suspect walking along a sidewalk before she creeps up behind another woman, the mother of the child, uh, standing on the corner. The suspect, suspect excuse me, can be seen violently pushing the toddler, the lie is not visible, before skipping off in apparent celebration. Have a look. Let me uh, full screen it. Here, let me take it back for you there. All right, there isn't any sound. Friends, what the hell? Anybody? Definitely on something. Uh, there, anyone with any information is told to call 1-800-577-TIPS. The tiny victim reportedly struck her head on the ground and required emergency medical treatment. The little girl was taken, it says, by EMS to an area hospital and listed in stable condition, according to police. Further extent of her injuries was not made clear, PIX11 reports. The woman police are looking for was described as between the ages of 35 and 45, about 5 feet 4 inches tall, weighing about 130 pounds. Last seen wearing a white t-shirt, black shorts, and red sneakers. Once again, 1-800-577-TIPS. If you know this remarkable young lady, uh, friends, granted, that's one story from one nutcase. Yeah, I completely and totally get that. And I don't wish to say that all of society is indicative of one idiot. That, I don't think that's a responsible thing to say. But it's clear. It's been this way. I noticed this 20 years ago. People used to say you have to be smarter than the average man walking down the street. Well, I began to notice that the average man was kind of an idiot. And things are getting worse now. We don't value human life. We don't value any of that because we took the fundamental truths of Christianity and replaced them with the objectivity of a non-Christian outlook. And you can say that that's not very inclusive to say, but that's the problem that we're looking at. Beyond that, we have been spoon-fed a, a hip-hop culture that says, I'm going to get mine, regardless of what happens to anybody else. I'm going to get mine, and you best believe I'm going to get mine. That means get yours, even if what you're getting is just the jollies and the, the feeling of accomplishment by pushing a child to the ground. The rush you get from taking hard drugs that make you feel as though you have accomplished something, even though you haven't, that rush is the same. And I understand people are going to say hedonism's been with us in the rock era. It was with us with disco. It was with us, you know, on, I get that. But it used to be go out, you know, bang as many women as you want, go out, drink yourself into oblivion. It was never push children to the ground if you want to. It was never steal and rob and murder if you have to, as long as you get yours. That was never the overreaching message. There's always been people like that. Of course there have. But that's never been the overreaching 
message. There's also never been an overreaching common societal myth like we have now with things like white uh, privilege, of which completely does not exist. But we're sold it as if it was a reality, so now we've got races looking at each other strangely, based on a provable lie. We are told that the planet is warming based on the things that man is doing, even though the objective and honest science, not the bunk science, but the objective honest science, real science, it shows that man is not warming the planet. So when you have a society based on all of these untruths, and when honest truth is not only mocked at, but censored and eliminated from the internet, then you can't be terribly surprised when you find things like this taking place. If you believe that there are no absolute truths, which there are, then you end up with people objectifying everything and believing that all things are for their use, regardless of how that affects other people. That is more than hedonism. That is a step that's several steps beyond hedonism. And in every instance throughout history, and you can fact check me on this if you don't believe it, in every instance in history when society has gone as far as we have, it's pretty much the end of the nation. And a lot of people are like, yeah, I'd like to see that happen. Replaced by what? There were probably people in Afghanistan that wanted to see their nation fall, but it did. Now it's worse. We need to get Joe Biden out of office. What, for Kamala Harris? You think that's going to be better leadership? Good leadership based on the foundational truths of reality is the kind of leadership that needs to take place, not just in America, but on a global scale. And when that has been overlooked, because this isn't a dictator. We elected these people, at least in theory. Not Maybe not so much with Trump, but by and large, we've, we've elected these people. And now we saw what we just saw in that video. Let me know what you guys think. I think I spoke a whole lot of truth there. You rewind this three minutes back and listen to it. You'll get all kinds of nuggets of absolute why is this happening, people say? Listen to, listen to this video. It'll tell you why it's happening. Hit share. Hit subscribe. Let me know what you guys think in the comment lines. I hope you're listening from Opera News. Let me know if you are. You can get a hold of me at the correct views at hotmail.com. Good night, friends. God bless.